Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom where a judge has to deal with a soft heart and doesn't feel like dealing with any of his antics and pretty much puts him in his place. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, at the Butler County Jail, are you Anthony Dubas? Sir, I would like to state for the record and correct that um, I am not the all caps name on the paper. I am the proper case trade name, sole living heir, beneficiary and executor of that named trust. Well, no shit. Okay, so uh, you're representing them. Legally, you're representing them. So, do you realize it's not legal to uh, represent somebody without a law license? You can only represent yourself, dude. So, if you find the actual person you're supposed to be, please tell him to report to the courtroom because he's a deep, deep doo-doo at this point. Uh, I am the living man. I am a foreign national. And I... You're a foreign Dubai. national? I'm a foreign national. I'm really? an American national. Um, I am here by special appearance only, held against my will, under duress, in false imprisonment, and under false arrest. Very good. This is State of Kansas versus Anthony Edward Dubas, case number 23-TR. 2777, the state appears by Jared Regeer. Mr. Dubas appears from the custody of the Butler County Jail. All parties are appearing by Zoom. Mr. Dubas, you're here for a first appearance. Do you have a copy of your charges? No, he doesn't, Your Honor, but he certainly has m more crayons he can munch on while he's talking to you. I mean, I mean, he really does find them magically delicious. That's why he much munches on them so much. And, uh, well, uh, to, to tell you the truth, it's really starting to affect his brain. I am, my honor, Mr. Crumb, I am here by special appearance under the right, you've already You've already been through that. I'm going to read your charges to you. In count one, it alleges that on August 17th, 2023, you did then and there unlawfully operate a motor vehicle on a highway of this state without having a valid driver's license. Ah, you decided to listen to some soft heart guru, I take it, and try the I'm not driving, I'm traveling argument, and it really didn't hold water in, out in the real world now, did it? And now you're in court, and it appears that the judge isn't going to buy any of your bullshit. So let's carry on. That is no valid driver's license, a Class B non-person misdemeanor. That carries a maximum penalty of six months in jail and up to a $1,000 fine. Count two alleges that on August 17th, 2023, you're operating a motor vehicle, a 2003 Honda Accord up on a highway or this state, Fox, East Fox Trail Street, Andover, Butler County, Kansas, while your vehicle was not registered. That's fail to register a vehicle. That's an unclassified non-person misdemeanor. That carries a maximum penalty of 30 days in jail and up to a $500 fine. Count three alleges you operated a motor vehicle on August 17th, 2023 in Butler County, Kansas, without having uh, valid insurance. That's no proof of insurance, a class B non-person misdemeanor. Do you understand your charges, Mr. Dubas? No, I do not stand under these charges, and I would like to make it clear that I was not operating a motor vehicle. I was operating my private conveyance, not for hire, not for commercial use, not to transport passengers or products for hire. Um, and if I was allowed to have my uh, folder with black text case law in it to be brought here with me as I asked Mr. Um, Deputy Khalid Baraka 
um, and he refused, I would be able to prove to you with black text case law what the Supreme Court rulings from multiple different cases have stated about the definition of a driver, an operator, a motor vehicle, an automobile, uh, what a conveyance is, um, and their decisions. Uh, dude, you cannot bring your quote mind bullshit into a court and expect it to work because you're dealing with people who have been educated in the law and they all know how to do proper research. Unlike you, who believes all this sovtard nonsense and who is unwilling or unable to look any of this stuff up for himself. And that is a pure fact, dude. I mean, you guys quote mine all the damn time. It is so easy to look up, but you don't do it. Okay. My bad. The Supreme Court's decision. All right, Mr. Dubas, I'm, I'm going to stop you there. Requiring... I'm going to enter a not guilty plea for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to set this over. If you want to present this stuff, you can present it to Judge Webster, who's going to be assigned to your case. Are you going to be able to hire an attorney? I'm sujuris. So I'm not a board of the state. Okay, then you can hire your own attorney. I'm going to set this for November 13th, 2023 at 9 o'clock in the morning. Mr. Aguirre, do you have a recommendation for bond? Uh, your Honor, 2500 cash assurity with all standard conditions. Um, also, in reviewing the affidavit, it would appear that um, when this is alleged that when the defendant was questioned by the deputy, he, he refused to provide a valid address or any further information that's quoted directly from the affidavit. I'm not sure if the court wants to make any special orders along those lines or not. Um, I object. I provided a valid address. It's just a non-residential address um, or a residential address that is non-domestic and he refused to accept my proper address or my mailing address. Well, I'm gonna set a bond in the amount of $2,500 cash or surety. Um, you'll need to provide a valid um, physical address to a bondsman if you wish to make bond, Mr. Dubas. All right, is there anything else, Mr. Regeer, on this case? No, but from the state's perspective, Your Honor. All right, we'll be in recess. Oh. Mr. Dubas, you are excuse. Hold on, is it an OR bond or? No, it's a cash or surety bond. Okay, so I need a co-signer. You can put up 2,500 in cash or you can make arrangements with a bondsman. Okay, thank you. Well, I don't exactly see his trial working out for him in November. So good luck with that, dumbass. I hope you bring plenty of uh, butthurt cream with you because you're going to need it. Because I predict you will be sitting in there going pro se and objecting to everything that you don't understand, which is pretty much everything, and getting butt hurt that you're getting overruled every single time. So, guys, at any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.